So I had a couple messages last night, people asking about the rollback they saw on the background. So I told them we'd make a little video on it and try and get it posted. This is a 1976 Chevy C50. I've had it probably, probably about seven months. I got it as a project, it was just a cabin chassis. We put a 17 foot steel Jordan bed on it. Um, we had to extend the frame. I've had to do the hydraulic lines, PTO, PTO shaft. Had to do a little bit of work on the winch. Uh, the brakes didn't work when I got it. We had to replace the master cylinder, a couple brake lines, and then I I was hunting a brake booster forever, about two months, and we finally, Napa, finally located this one. We got that on there. Now the brakes work awesome. It's got a 350 small block, four bore, full bore main in it needs door pins on this side new bench seat four speed fires right up run smooth it's got 89,000 miles on the uh, cab the motor was refreshing, top end. Let me pop the hood. The Quadrajet carb that was on it when I got it, uh, we were driving down the road and it started pouring out fuel. So I had a buddy give me a Elderbrock 750 we threw on there. And it's not tuned in yet. I'll turn the PTO on. We'll run the bed. Go no, sorry, push your clutch in now. It's just a little cold. The bed moves a lot quicker, I just don't have it idled up. We do got brand new tires and wheels. Got rid of the tube tires. I also swapped the axle. It had a two ton axle in it. We put a five ton. Shut it off. I'll throw some pictures in with the axle swap. It wasn't too bad. Right hand is where we had to split the frame and we threw a half inch plate, welded it solid and then put bolts in it. Had to extend the drive shaft. Luckily all the cylinders were working. We had to replace about four hoses and then four hoses just happen to cost about 700 bucks and things are expensive along with hydraulic fluid but we just finally got it going a couple weeks ago this winter we plan on sanding it down and painting it upgraded front wheels 
heavy duty push bumper got like six pieces of railroad behind it I throw in the picture I had all these fenders straightened out and cleaned and uh, me and my boy and a buddy was coming back we had hauled a forklift to repair shop and we actually hit a guy going about 60 miles an hour he pulled right out in front of us said he didn't even see us uh, we didn't feel nothing his car got tore up and when his trunk lid come up I'm assuming that's what did all this but luckily everybody was okay well this truck right here they're easy to work on when you can find the parts they're cheap but we've hauled we hauled a few things uh, we've had it hour hour and a half from the house no issues not a whole lot to it but it's definitely gonna get put to work you like riding it don't you yeah so I gotta wire up my light I think I'm gonna change that out and get a new LED and that's old school mechanical a lot of people like them Like I said, not much to it. Thanks for checking it out.